This is Dr. Phil Chavez. Situated in perhaps the busiest street in central Rome is the Church of Santa Maria in Via Lata on what's called the Via del Corso. Now it sits over this area which served as a residence where St. Paul is said to have spent two years while under house arrest, awaiting his trial with the emperor. Allegedly, he was kept here under guard after his arrival in Rome. Now on what has become the crypt of the, chur the church are the remains of this ancient Roman building, which once was thought to have served as a warehouse, but possibly this was, this was also the house of Luke, and likely Paul was present when Luke was writing his Acts of the Apostles. Now there are various chambers underneath this church in this area which have been reconfigured during the Middle Ages. In the room that was converted into a chapel, there is a beautiful marble relief by sculptor Cosmo Fancelli, who lived from 1620 to 1688, depicting St. Peter, St. Paul, and St. Luke. It's right over my shoulder. Here Paul interacted with these men as well as with St. John the Evangelist and other notable Christians. Paul could have written the book of Hebrews also right here. If so, this would be the place where Paul converted Onesimus, which we read in the epistle of St. Paul to Philemon. Now there's a Corinthian column to which tradition says that St. Paul was chained. It's opposite this room. On this column is a phrase written by Paul to Timothy, verbum dei non est alligatum, the word of God is not chained. Now, recent excavations made it possible to recover various objects, including an iron chain about two yards long. Now, it's compatible with the marks on the column. Possibly could have Paul been tied with it? I don't know. While evidence is strong for the claims made about this area, the strength, the peace, and the power of Paul's presence is somehow here. It can definitely be felt. And no, the word of God cannot be chained. For from this ancient place, it has spread to the entire world. May St. Paul, St. Luke, and St. John pray for us. And God be with you. We appreciate you viewing our Manly Minutes. Thank you for whatever donation you can offer to make our content possible. Go to themensacademy.org backslash donate. Thank you.